In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of N2O, nitrous oxide, also known as dinitrogen monoxide. So the first thing we're going to do is add up the number of valence electrons. We have two nitrogen atoms and one oxygen atom in this molecule. Now, nitrogen is found in group 5A of the periodic table and it therefore has five valence electrons. Oxygen is a calcogen found in group 6A of the periodic table, and so it has six valence electrons. Two times five is 10 plus six, that's 16. So that's the total number of valence electrons we have in the structure. Now let's talk about how we can draw the Lewis structure. But here's a question for you first. Which atom should be the central atom oxygen or nitrogen now we said that nitrogen has five valence electrons oxygen has six both of these elements like to acquire electrons oxygen wants two more electrons to get to eight so oxygen likes to form two bonds nitrogen needs three more electrons to get to eight so it typically likes to form three bonds. The best element to put in the center of the molecule is the one that could form more bonds. And so we're going to go with nitrogen. So let's put nitrogen at the center. Now, the fact that the number of valence electrons is a multiple of eight tells us that there's going to be no lone pairs on the central nitrogen atom. So nitrogen will only have bonds. Nitrogen and oxygen, they're in the second row of the periodic table. And therefore, they cannot have an expanded octet. The maximum number of electrons that they can have in their outermost shell is eight. So nitrogen can't form five bonds. So the maximum number of bonds that nitrogen can have is four, which would correspond to eight electrons. So one option is we can put one bond between the two nitrogen atoms and then three bonds between N and O. Another option is we can put two bonds between the two nitrogen atoms and two bonds between N and O. Or we can put a single bond here and a triple bond here. Let's see which of these three options is the best. By the way, all of these are resonance structures of N2O, but one of them is going to be more stable than the other. When nitrogen has, I mean, when oxygen has three bonds, it's going to have one lone pair. When oxygen has two bonds, it's going to have two lone pairs. And when it has one bond, it's going to have three lone pairs. The same is true for nitrogen. When it has one bond, it's going to have three lone pairs. When it has two bonds, it's going to have two lone pairs. And when it has three bonds, one lone pair. Now, in order to determine the best Lewis structure out of the three that we have, we need to find out which one has the minimal formal charge. Ideally, we want a structure that is neutral overall or neutral in the individual elements as well. The more charge separation we have, the less stable the Lewis structure is. So let's begin by calculating the formal charge of the central nitrogen atom. So here's a simple formula that will help you to calculate the formal charge. It's equal to the number of valence electrons minus the bonds and dots around that element. So focusing on this nitrogen atom, it has five valence electrons, four bonds, no dots. So five minus four is one. So therefore, it has a positive formal charge. The same is true for the other three central nitrogen atoms because they all have four bonds. Now let's focus on this nitrogen. It has five valence electrons, one bond. It has three lone pairs, which is six dots. So five minus seven is negative two. So it has a negative two charge. Now let's focus on this one. So it's five minus, it has three bonds, two dots, five minus five is zero. So this is neutral. So we're not gonna do anything there. 
Now let's focus on this nitrogen atom. So it has five valence electrons, two bonds, four dots. Five minus six is a negative one. So we'll put a minus one formal charge. Now let's focus on oxygen. So let's start with this one. Oxygen has six valence electrons, and that structure has three bonds, two dots. Six minus five is one. So it has a positive formal charge. And as you can see, overall, this molecule is neutral. The sum of the formal charges is zero because there's no net charge in N2O. Now let's focus on this one. This is going to be six minus the two bonds and four dots. So it's going to be neutral. And then for the last one, it's going to be six minus one bond, six dots. So it has a negative one formal charge. So clearly, this one is the least stable because it has the most charge separation. So this is not the best Lewis structure for N2O. It is one of the resonant structures, but not the, the most stable one. Now, the charge separation between these two Lewis structures is almost identical, plus one and minus one. The difference is, where should we put the negative charge? So here is the million dollar question. Is it better to put a negative charge on a nitrogen atom or on an oxygen atom? Which element is more electronegative? Oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. Oxygen has a strong affinity for electrons. And so as a result, it is best capable of stabilizing that negative charge. Therefore, this is going to be the best Lewis structure for N2O because it represents the most stable resonance form of this molecule.